London versus Paris, which one wins in a direct comparison, or is it like comparing a cup of Earl Grey to a flute of champagne? Imagine pitting the cosmopolitan hustle-bustle of London, with its diverse cultural offerings and lush green spaces, against the romantic charm of Paris, with its iconic landmarks and world-class cuisine. It's a showdown of historical landmarks, cultural attractions, and culinary delights, an exciting clash of two titans of tourism. So, let's dive into this city rivalry and see who comes out on top. If history were a boxing match, London and Paris would be in the heavyweight division. In one corner, we have London, the city of the Beefeaters, standing tall with its imposing Tower of London. This fortress has been a royal palace, a treasury, a menagerie, and even a prison. Talk about a multitasking marvel. And who could forget the iconic Big Ben? That's one bell that doesn't need an alarm clock. In the other corner stands Paris, the city of love, boasting with the Eiffel Tower. This iron lady may look delicate but don't let that fool you, she's as sturdy as they come. And let's not overlook the Notre Dame Cathedral, a gothic masterpiece that's been standing strong, rain or shine, for over eight centuries. So, who packs the harder historical punch? Well, that's a question for the ages. But remember, it's not the size of the monument in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the monument. When it comes to culture, London and Paris are like two artists arguing over who has the better palette. London, with her cosmopolitan vibe, is like a modernist painter, splashing a vibrant mix of cultures onto her canvas. From the pulsating rhythms of Notting Hill Carnival to the intellectual debates at Speaker's Corner, London's cultural scene is as diverse as a Picasso. On the other side of the English Channel, Paris, with her iconic art museums, is like a classic impressionist, carefully blending colors to create a timeless masterpiece. The Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, Centre Pompidou, all whisper tales of artistic brilliance and historical significance, making Paris the Mona Lisa of cultural capitals. In this cultural face-off, London and Paris continue their artistic rivalry, each city showcasing its unique cultural color palette. So, who's the better artist? It might just depend on your taste in paintbrushes. Now on to the tasty part of our comparison. If London is a hearty roast, then Paris is a delicate souffle. Picture the culinary landscape of London, as diverse and exciting as the city itself. From a piping hot bowl of Vietnamese pho in Shoreditch to a spicy Jamaican jerk chicken in Brixton, London's food scene is a global banquet on a platter. It's like a well-cooked roast, diverse in its elements, yet harmoniously melded together. Now, let's hop over the English Channel to Paris. Ah, Paris, where the aroma of fresh baguettes wafts through the air and the sight of a perfectly risen souffle can make you weak at the knees. Parisian cuisine is like a symphony, a delicate balance of flavors, textures, and aromas. It's a testament to the art of fine dining, where every bite is savored and every meal is an experience. So whether you prefer your meal roasted or risen, both cities have a plate for you. Given London's vastness, it's wise to opt for a hotel that's fairly central. Paddington could be an excellent choice, perhaps even more enjoyable than King's Cross. Keep in mind the sheer size of London. What appears to be a neighborhood on the outskirts could actually entail a lengthy train journey of over an hour to reach the main sightseeing areas later on. For your inaugural visit, it's advisable to steer clear of extremely budget-friendly hotels situated far from the city center. Commuting an hour or more each way could significantly dampen your experience. Consider lodging options in Soho, Paddington, near Hyde Park, Shoreditch, Camden, or Islington. These areas offer a range of accommodation prices and are sufficiently central to facilitate easy navigation around the city via public transport. Choosing a centrally located hotel in Paris is the top recommendation. Aim for proximity to a metro station and ideally within walking distance of the River Seine or another iconic landmark. Le Marais, Montmartre, the Latin Quarter, the 7th arrondissement, and Saint-Germain-des-Prés are all fantastic neighborhoods for both first-time and seasoned visitors. As you become more acquainted with Paris, you might consider venturing further out or exploring residential areas. While these offer unique Parisian experiences, they often involve longer commutes, which may not be ideal for your initial visit to the city. Before revealing the winner, please subscribe to the channel for more travel-related content. So, who's the winner in this city showdown? Is it London with its cosmopolitan swagger or Paris with its romantic allure? When valuating the landmarks, the Tower of London, with its storied past as a royal fortress and prison, contrasts with the modernity of the Shard, Europe's tallest skyscraper. Additionally, the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben, 
symbolize the city's political and cultural prominence on the world stage. While Paris boasts landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame Cathedral, London's landmarks encompass a broader spectrum of history and architectural grandeur, captivating visitors with their timeless charm and significance. Overall, we give the point to London. Paris clinches the title for its unrivaled cultural scene, outshining London with its centuries-old tradition of artistic excellence and intellectual vibrancy. The French capital serves as a beacon of creativity and innovation, boasting a wealth of world-renowned museums, theaters, and galleries that attract artists, writers, and thinkers from across the globe. From the iconic Louvre Museum, home to masterpieces like the Mona Lisa, to the avant-garde Centre Pompidou, Paris's cultural institutions showcase a diverse array of artistic movements and styles, spanning from classical to contemporary. Moreover, Paris's bohemian neighborhoods, such as Montmartre and Saint-Germain-des-Prés, have long been hubs of artistic activity, fostering a creative energy that permeates the city's streets and cafes. Whether attending a performance at the historic Opera Garnier or exploring the literary haunts of Hemingway and Fitzgerald, Paris offers a cultural experience that is as rich as it is inspiring, solidifying its status as the undisputed cultural capital of the world, earning it one point for culture. Both London and Paris boast culinary scenes that are as diverse as they are delectable, offering a tantalizing array of flavors and cuisines that cater to every palate. In London, traditional British fare like fish and chips and hearty pies coexist harmoniously with a melting pot of international flavors, thanks to the city's multicultural population. From authentic Indian curries in Brick Lane to mouth-watering dim sum in Chinatown, London's culinary landscape is a reflection of its cosmopolitan character. Similarly, Paris's gastronomic offerings are a testament to the city's culinary prowess, with iconic dishes like coco vin and boeuf bourguignon captivating diners with their rich flavors and timeless appeal. Moreover, Paris's vibrant street markets, such as Marche des Enfants Rouge and Marche Alligre, offer a treasure trove of fresh produce, artisanal cheeses, and gourmet delicacies that showcase the city's culinary heritage. Whether savoring a classic French croissant in a quaint Parisian cafe, or indulging in a traditional Sunday roast in a cozy London pub, both cities offer culinary experiences that are equally spectacular and undeniably memorable. No decision could be made, and therefore both cities got one point. Hotel stays in London tend to be more affordable compared to Paris, with a wider range of budget accommodations available across the city. While both cities offer luxury options for those seeking upscale experiences, London's competitive hotel market provides travelers with more choices at various price points, allowing them to find accommodations that suit their budget without sacrificing quality or comfort. When it comes to transportation, London's public transportation system, particularly the underground, Tube, offers better value for money compared to Paris's metro. London's Tube network is extensive and efficient, providing easy access to all parts of the city at a relatively affordable price. Additionally, London's Oyster Card system offers discounted fares for frequent travelers, making it more cost-effective for visitors to explore the city. In terms of dining out, London offers a wider range of affordable options compared to Paris, particularly when it comes to casual dining and street food. While Paris is renowned for its gastronomic scene, with numerous Michelin-starred restaurants and gourmet experiences, these can come with a hefty price tag. In contrast, London's diverse culinary landscape caters to all budgets, with plenty of affordable eateries, markets, and food stalls serving up delicious fare from around the world. Overall, while both cities offer plenty of attractions and experiences for visitors, London's lower costs for hotel stays, transportation and dining give it the edge as the more budget-friendly destination, and earning it a point. In the age-old debate between London and Paris, London emerges as the victor, capturing the hearts of travelers with its dynamic blend of cosmopolitan allure, rich cultural offerings, delectable cuisine, and affordability. See you in the next Versus video on this Chanel.